Mission 3, Destroyer of Ardor. Overcome the trial and acquire the pride of Lion. Let's see. Stinger level 1. With lightning speed, plunges a sword into enemies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that for Alistair. game is so annoying. The pride of lion is granted only to those who choose the path of trials. to fight some enemies in here or something. This right here is a caduceus. I think it has something to do with Greek mythology with Hermes. And this is the medical symbol that you see at hospitals for some reason. This symbol resembles a staff of Hermes that's used in the art of alchemy. Hmm, I can feel some kind of mysterious force, but I just can't quite understand yet. It states, go back the path and thou shalt return from the abyss. With thy lion halt, and thou shalt receive the pride of lion. Okay. That seems kind of useless. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> no. Oh, shoot. It's eating away at my health. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to point out is his handguns I think might be a little similar to Bayonetta's like guns. The reason why she's a witch with guns 
Um, it's like they reused that from DMC as well. Because she starts out with the boring handguns that have no magical powers to them. And then she accumulates better ones. So, just something I wanted to point out. come with Phantasmarane, but in this game he's called Phantom. is a scorpion or a spider. I guess he's a scorpion and a spider mixed together. The lava lifting up is something that the Lumen Sages can do in their metal. Being at a three, you can somewhat turn into that spider thingy and use it in bot battle. And I think you end up talking to a different spider that looks similar to him. So definitely they're reusing a lot of stuff from DMC and putting it into the Bayonetta franchise. 